and you're f***ed. How's that sound? No sh Mind your own business next time. I was driving along, I was going to hit you with a simple citation that I keep, but no. You gotta be. In the world of run of the mill police interaction, there's regular cop splaining, and then there's coming unglued and falling apart at the seams. So we're out doing our thing. Okay. He decides to pass me and flip me off. All right, Steve, I'm sorry. All right? Yeah, I'm sorry. So the f do you think you are worried about what I'm doing? Okay. You're right. I know I'm right, God damn it. Now you might be surprised to know that this guy is just getting warmed up. Everyone's got something to say. Mind your own goddamn business. You're fucking speeding. How about I start with that? Never fear, this cop is not done yet. There's way more where that came from. No, I was following that kid for a reason. And if you hadn't done a stupid stunt, I'd be with him right now. But no, you just couldn't leave it alone, could you? You had to be. Welcome to the Here's the Deal channel, where we uncover tyranny wherever it may be found, overt or covert, with the intended aim of setting brush fires of freedom in the minds of men. God help you if there's anything illegal in this car. Let's dive right in to today's video. Power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. We know this, we can say it, but it's a whole different thing observing power corrupting an indiv individual. I want to show you this. This video was put out by the scoop. I don't know. I don't know what the intention was. A lot of people actually had positive comments toward this cop, but I want to show you what happens when power corrupts. When you literally think that you have qualified immunity to, to such a point that you can verbally abuse your fellow human being uh, under the color of law. The name of this video is Connecticut police officer allegedly threatens to throw a man off a bridge during a traffic stop. Watch this cop and, and watch what it is that sets him off. Hey, can I just ask you why you're riding their butt like that and speeding, man? I'm running his license plate because everybody yeah. else is speeding. Why are you speeding? I was only going 60. Speed limit's 40. The 50. The signs. Okay. Well, bye. Do All right. A favor. Oh, give me the weed, too. No, I, I have a... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start this over. I didn't know it was gonna glitch hey, like that. Can I just ask you why you're riding? Their... Hey, can I just ask you why you're riding their butt like that and speeding, man? I'm running his license plate because everybody yeah. else is speeding. Why are you speeding? I was only going 60. Speed limit's 40. The 50. The signs. Okay. Well, bye. Do All right. A favor. Oh, give me the weed, too. No, I, I have a. Oh, I, oh, 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 yeah. I have no a medical shit. marijuana card. Step out. I have a card. Step out. All right. All right. Stop. It looks like he was grabbing it when he was doing this step out. Now we can't see it. And this is totally assumption and speculation on my part, but it looks like he was grabbing his gun and putting your hand, breaking that plane right there and putting your arm into a person's car. You just violated that person's space. This cop is getting personally offended. His ego was damaged like that, bruised like that, harmed like that. And he's actually going to act that out. This is what's happened. This is the caustic effect of granting power and authority to somebody who's going to trip and get drunk in that power and authority. Man, you want to f run your mouth? No problem. You came to the right guy. Step out. All right, all right, stop. Come on. Stop. 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 Hands, please. Run back. Can you be sharp? No, sir. Where's the marijuana? I have it in my car, but I have Where's a weed card. card. I have a weed card. Let's get apart. Right now, you're just being detained. You're not under arrest. All right. No, I really don't. See, the blue car yeah, which one? was tailing me yeah. while I was pacing a track to trailer looking for a motor vehicle violation because okay. the governor's office has gotten multiple complaints yeah. on traffic stops. I know. So now he's cop explaining. He's going to let you know why he was going to violate somebody's right under, uh, oh, it's a traffic violation. We're just going to keep people safe. And so now I'm going to extract some money. So he's actually admitting through this cop explaining that he's being a road pirate. His ego's already bruised, and now he's just going to run off at the mouth. This guy hasn't even started yet. Okay? I know that. So we're out doing our thing. Okay. He <laughs> decides to pass me and flip me off. All right, Steve, I'm sorry. All right? Yeah, I'm sorry. So who the f*** do you think you are worried about what I'm doing? Okay. So the guy, so he, according to this cop's admission, the guy who passed him 
exercised his right to flip this cop off. The cop got his ego severely damaged where he shouldn't have. If he was even keel, if this guy was stable, none of that would have ever happened. So now he's got a vendetta and he's going to find a traffic violation. And he definitely doesn't want to be questioned by this guy right here. You're right. I know I'm right, God damn it. Everyone's got something to say. Mind your own goddamn business. Your f***ing speed. How about I start with that? No f***. I was following that kid for a reason. And if you hadn't done that stupid stunt, I'd be with him right now. But no, you just couldn't leave it alone, could you? You had to be a f***ing There you go. Here goes the violation of the right for this this guy driving his car, his own personal property, to be secure in his person's houses, papers, and effects. This badged tyrant, drunk on his own power, is trampling on a Fourth Amendment right that he swore to protect, defend, and uphold from all enemies, foreign and domestic, and he just now became the very domestic enemy he swore to protect this guy from. God help you if there's anything illegal in this car. Is it in the original dispensary container? What? It's broke. Is it in the original dispensary container? No. Then you're f***ed. How's that sound? No s***. Mind your own business next time. Yeah, it's called shut the f*** up. I was driving along. I was going to head to a simple citation that I keep, but no. you got to be... Just couldn't f shut your mouth. Where are you going anyway? Where do you work? Where? What's that? It's a paper? Yeah, you know, like the liquor bottles and stuff that the, the s*** comes in, like the trays. Now going through his personal property. And it makes me wonder, because there is that statistic out there, take it with a grain of salt, but there is a statistic saying that uh, domestic violence cases among the law enforcement community is 40% higher than the regular community. So now with this guy, uh, with this fragile ego going off like he's doing for no apparent reason, makes you wonder about the safety of his wife or girlfriend or if he has kids at home. I mean, is, th is there some domestic violence going on that we need to know about, Mr. Officer? I promise you, I only have weed in the car. Honest to goodness. And it's all right here in my glove box right here. You ever heard of what a heat seeker is? No. A heat seeker is something that draws attention to itself. Heat seeking missiles, they go for the heat. Shut the f up. Did I tell you to move? Why am I speed? I'm doing my job. Connecticut General Statute 14-298 allows law enforcement officers to disregard the traffic laws in the performance of their duties. How the fuck am I going to catch a speeder if I'm not speeding? <laughs> How am I going to catch a speeder if I'm not speeding? I am allowed to break the laws because I'm part of the law enforcement class. The political class can speed. The law enforcement class can speed, but you can't speed. What's, what's the translation there? I have higher claims uh, and, and uh, higher rights than you have. And so now I have the claim over your life and property to go through your stuff, to rifle through your belongings, your personal property, to go into your car, to make you insecure in your person's houses, papers, and effects, because I have more rights than you do. And the legislators gave it to me. He, this guy's laying it all on the line. Tell us something we didn't know, officer. You like for your job at NASA with physics? Where do you want this? Does it get trashed? I can, I can tell. I don't want to get ruined. Unbelievable. It just never fucks in this fucking up. I got 14 months. I can't fucking wait to be done. Wow. This ought to tell you why our department, instead of having 1,300, has 850 right now. There's a clue to the public. What a bunch of holes you are. He just basically called the public a-holes <laughs> oh man
Just going through it, man. Just going through it. Doing to others what he wouldn't want done to him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Right there. You want it on paper or not? Is it in the original dispensary container? Look at that. No sh Turn around. Listen closely. The man alleges the cop says, if I ever come across you again, you are going over that bridge. <laughs> I don't, th I didn't hear. Let's, let's listen closer here. Turn around. Gosh, I wish we could get the, I wish we could get this cop's name. I don't think the, I don't think the video is good enough quality to get this cop's name. Let's see. He had no idea. It looks like that he's being recorded. Let's see here. No, it's just too blurry. It's not, uh, I don't think it's a, I don't, I don't even think it's 1080p. No, it's not. It's only in, uh. It's only in 360p, not clear at all. Look at some of these comments down here, though. This is a serious matter, and it definitely seems, seems like people were caught on the wrong day. However, I can't help but laugh at how much the cop turns into Bill Burr's skit. That is hilarious. It is, it is almost like a skit. It's so unreal, and he flew off the handle so fast and so far that it seemed like it was a Saturday night skit. That's how drunk he was on his own power. That's how enraged he was over literally nothing. What would happen if you accidentally got into a fender bender with him? Man, this guy probably would throw somebody off the bridge. I've watched this so many times and nearly pissed myself laughing every time. He's my favorite online cop. How the F am I going to catch a speeder if I'm not speeding? This officer has a really strong case for a stress retirement. This officer is tired of people, quote, knowing his job. Let's roll up to the cop smelling like weed and question him about his driving. Legend has it that this is one of the cop's calm days. You should see him when he's angry. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and global thought police in the comment section below. It's it's um, it's not every day you see a cop fly off the handle like this. This is this was pretty intense. This was pretty far out and pretty unbelievable. And it's almost like you wouldn't even believe it if it wasn't recorded. Guy doesn't have a body cam on. I wonder if there was a dash cam activated and he was being recorded uh, on his cruiser, audio and video. And I wonder if he's still on the job. I wonder if he made it to that 14 months of retirement. Anyway, leave your thoughts about that.